What is going on you guys? This is Garage Denali and in uh, this series of videos I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an audio upgrade in your Ford Crown Victoria. This uh, should pretty much apply to other Ford Crown Victoria Panther or other Ford Panther platform vehicles, so probably Lincoln Town Car, Mercury Grand Marquis, Mercury Marauder, things of that nature. So basically we're going to be upgrading the four speakers in this car. I got some Infinity Reference, it looks like they're REF 8632, so these are very good based on the reviews that I've read and the advice I've been given. And then over here we got a Sony XAV-AX100. This is a nice head unit here. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice product. I've uh, opened the box and checked it out. And uh, the nice thing is it has Apple CarPlay, so if I actually pull this out and show you guys... Oh, I got a new boingy boy right here as well as you can tell if you've been with the channel for a bit but here we go here's our little head unit so it's in the bag but yeah we're gonna be getting this installed I got my buddy Charlie here helping me out so this uh, series of videos is gonna be like three videos is gonna show you guys how to install all these things the head unit uh, we got four speakers and then we got a little backup camera here because if you own a Crown Victoria you know a backup camera is much needed so with that we're gonna jump right into it so the first step in our process here is we're going to get the speakers installed in our car here. So basically, it's very simple. You got one speaker in each of the front door panels, and then you got another speaker on each side of the rear deck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this door panel off so we can install the speaker. So the first thing, grab a T30 with a 3 8 drive uh, ratchet with an extension, and we're going to get this little bolt here popped out. So let's get it out. We're going to get our door panel off and that'll reveal the speaker. Alright, so once you got that out, this bolt should come right out, and your handle may also pop out. In this case, it's not popping out, so just take your bolt and put it in a safe place. Next, you're going to have a series of bolts. These are 7 millimeters here in the, all throughout the door panels. So you got one right here, then you got two right down here. Alright, so after you've done that, you want to pull out your little switch panel here. So start in the front, you may need a flathead screwdriver, but you should be able to just pry it off with your fingers carefully. That comes off just like that. Remove the connectors. And then put your panel in a safe place. Furthermore, you might also have a bolt right here underneath the door handle, so you want to make sure you get that out before you start pulling the door panel. After you've done all that, just grab the door panel and pull it up, and then away from, from the door. Feed all the wiring through, and the door panel comes out. Alright, so our speaker is right here, so we only have four bolts holding this on. These are 5 millimeters. So grab a 5 mil socket, and this comes out pretty easily. Alright, so once you got all four bolts out, careful not to drop the speaker. So once again, put your bolts in a safe place, pull your speaker out, and then just unplug it. It's a little pinch grip, so pull it out, and there you go, your speaker's free. Alright guys, so here's our speaker in all its glory. Here's our nice infinity reference. Carefully get the bagging off of it. So you'll notice this has a little tweeter right in the middle, and it's got a little switch there. You can increase the oomph basically more decibels so if the tweeter is being blocked by part of your door panel just press the button and you get more bass essentially so every decibel counts when you're an audiophile so now we're going to get these installed and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that alright guys so now what you want to do is you want to take your speaker it's going to give you a little bit of insulation padding right here you just peel the back side off and you want to wrap it around your speaker this helps reduce vibrations so when the speaker is moving, when you're driving, it doesn't rattle. So now what you want to do is you want to take your little harness here that is included, plug these into both terminals here on the speaker. And at this point, this is basically ready to go in. So, Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little wire here and plug it in. It may be helpful to get the speaker resting on the door panel because it is magnetic. Just to hold it while you plug your harness in. Almost dropped it there. Click it in. And now you're ready to screw in your speaker into the door panel. Into the door, actually, I should say. So there we go, all the holes line up. So get your 5mm bolts that you took out and start screwing it back in. 
All right, so once that's now installed, we're going to go ahead and hook up all of our other speakers. We're not going to put the door panel back in yet because we want to uh, turn this car on, turn the system on, make sure everything works. Once we can confirm that, we'll go ahead and put our door panel back on. So now we're just going to go ahead and do all the other speakers. All right, so here on the driver's front door, we're going to get the door panel off, remove all the connectors, make sure you don't break anything, and go ahead and get your 5 millimeter bolts off. So once you got all your bolts out, once again, carefully grab the speaker and unplug it from the factory harness. All right, guys, so Charlie actually got this one prepared for me and all ready to go. So basically, we're going to go ahead and connect our speaker, plug it in. Okay, make sure you hear the click. Go ahead and feed the wire right in here and... We can go ahead and install it. So go ahead and get your bolts. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head back here to the rear deck and address the two rear speakers in here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pull back your rear uh, bench seating here. Just pull this forward because we got to pull a couple of uh, plastic push pins, some, some rivets here. So we got to get these out. So just pull this back. and. So go ahead and get a flathead or something of that nature that you can use to extract these little plastic rivets out. And then after that we're going to have to remove both of the C-pillar covers so we can access some more uh, mounting hardware in there. So one of them is going to be right here, right behind one of the rear passenger seats. Get a flathead screwdriver in there and get this pulled out. This is what you're pulling out. They're like these little black... Christmas tree rivets, whatever you want to call these. There should be two of them. Pull them both out. One's on this side and one's right on the other. All right, so after that, we got to remove both of our uh, C pillar trims. So the C pillar trims is just held in with tabs, so just gently pull it apart. And watch the wiring here for the window defroster. And there you go, this will break right free. It's only held in with two tabs, so just route this through the seat belt and down just like that. And then do the same thing with the other side. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna remove your third brake light housing. So basically get a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a screw holding it on each side. Remove both, both of those screws and then the whole housing can come off. And then this whole entire shelf here can come out. So the nice thing back here is these speakers are held in just with Phillips screws. So go ahead and get all four of these out. And just like that, same kind of push tab, remove the speaker from the hole right there in the rear deck. And we're ready to put the new one in. Easy as, easy as pie. Alright guys, so it may be a little dark to see, but here we go. We have our next speaker ready to go. We're going to get it installed right back here into the cavity, bolt it right in, and then move on to our last one. All right, guys, so basically that's how you install all the speakers to the Crown Vic here. Uh, after you make sure everything is plugged in and squared away, you can go ahead and start to button everything back up. We're not going to completely button everything back up 100% because we're going to get our head unit in 
they were going to test the speakers. One of the rear deck speakers is not going to work because the head unit is bad. So once we do that, then I'll show you guys how to get all the door panels and the rear deck assembled back. So just uh, stay tuned for the next video showing you guys how to install the head unit. So, all right guys, so it's, uh, it's the next day here. It was just getting way too dark in order to show you guys any kind of uh, decent footage of what exactly I was doing. But basically this video outlines how to install the speakers into your Crown Victoria. So ultimately, in short, what you have to do is you have to first pry this switch panel here. This applies to both the front uh, driver and passenger side of the car. You pry this out, unplug all the switches, then what you want to do is you want to get a 7 millimeter, and you got one, two, and then you got three little bolts here. I happen to be missing these two, but you want to get all three of those out. Then eventually you want to get a flat head and get this little bolt out. I believe that is a Torx T25, I think it was. So you want to get that out and then um, the door panel, you just basically you pull it upwards and then you pull it away from you. And then of course, just make sure you unhook all the connectors for the seat switch. If you have electric seats, unhook all this stuff. If you have a trunk button, you want to remove all that. And then of course, the door panel pops right off. And then of course, your speaker is right behind here, right behind this grill, you'll see it. So that is only held in with four uh, five millimeter uh, bolts as well, so that's very easy to get out. Of course, you gently unplug it, put the new speaker in, and you're good to go. And then, of course, the getting the door panel back on is the reverse process. So hook all your connections back up. Um, getting it on can be a little tricky sometimes, so uh, you want to get it on. It has certain clips you have to get on a certain way, so get it on. Make sure you get this fished in. Feed that little uh, pin through the hole first and then just kind of get the door to line up. You may have to apply some pressure, you know, in all different kinds of uh, uh, points on the panel to get it to fit. But then eventually, yeah, you just force it back down like that and it will lock into place. And then what I like to do is uh, get this little bolt in first so it kind of holds it all together. This is like your center. And then um, there is another little bolt under this panel here that you can uh, secure so the door panel won't go anywhere. And then of course just make sure everything lines up, just you know, give it a good push downwards like that so it goes in. And then of course if we look back here for your rear deck, this is also very easy. This uh, uh, backrest here, this just pulls forward and then of course you have those little uh, uh, tree clips basically as I like to call them that uh, hold this little deck together. Get a Phillips screwdriver and then this uh, third brake light housing comes right off. Just carefully unplug it. And then of course this whole entire rear deck here lifts out. Your speakers are exposed. These are very easy to get to. These are four uh, Phillips screwdriver or screws here that you can use a regular screwdriver to get out. Plug your new speakers in. Uh, turn the car on. Make sure everything's working before you assemble everything. But it's, it's very easy. It's as, uh, it's as simple as that. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. It's a small little speaker upgrade, get better sound quality in your car. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please uh, check out my Instagram page at Garage Denali. If you love this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much and take care.